Hello. My knack of doing comprehension is to read the passage slowly and carefully and very deliberately, as though you're reading out at Harvest Festival or something. Um, so with that in mind, we will do precisely that, because I can guarantee you that most children won't. They'll just go straight to the questions and it leads to all sorts of trouble. Really? Off we go. Dancing etiquette. Golden rules that must be observed. Always read the title. Um, quite often there's a clue in there for one of the questions. If you happen to have chosen a partner who is an indifferent dancer, don't go out of your way to make the fact apparent to your immediate friends and to everybody who happens to be looking. This applies to both sexes. Although it may be hard to believe, people frequently do indicate by grimaces and winks that they have chosen an inexperienced partner although such a course of conduct is a piece of unutterable rudeness. It has been known, even been known. See what I mean? I tripped. Don't worry, go back to the beginning of the sentence. It's uh, No one's giving you marks for reading out loud, but they are giving you marks for whether you understood it. So if you feel you've tripped in your head, go back. It has even been known for a girl, and occasionally a man, to desert a partner in the middle of the floor and walk away with some excuse surely one of the most terrible exhibitions of boorishness imaginable. Hear, hear. So, who does the author think should observe dancing etiquette he describes? Read all the options. We've got only women, only men, and both men and women. Well, both men and women. But let's see if we can get that on here, shall we? Um because that's what I remember, but make sure you can evidence it. If you happen to have chosen a partner, don't go out of your way to make a parent and to everyone that happens. This applies to both sexes. There we are, that's where it is. So to both men and women, you need to, um, so it is one C. The word indifferent as used in the passage means, now let's find it as used in the passage. That is, um, very important. So let's find, what are we looking? Aha, an indifferent dancer. And what happens if you've chosen a partner who is an indifferent dancer? It means not very good, bit rubbish, um, not great. So let's see which of these fits. A similar dancer, well that's not gonna work, is it? A different dancer, no. Um, a not very good, that's the one. We'll just read the others just in case. Not very intelligent neither here nor there. Young, no, again. Uh, youth may go with inexperience, but it doesn't necessarily mean they're a bad dancer. So that's where the indifferent came from, so not very good. Find it in the passage. According to the extract, so don't bring in what your dance teacher said, what um, anybody else has said really. This is about what is in the passage and only what's in the passage. So according to the extract, how might people show their friends that they have an inexperienced dance partner? Facial expressions, sort of, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, mouthing words, um, whispering, they're a bit rubbish, or nodding. So let's see, what have we got? Although it may be hard to believe, people frequently do indicate by grimaces and winks. A grimace is a and a wink, you know what a wink is, uh, that they've chosen an experienced partner. So yes, it's A, facial patterns. Now where did we find that? There's it is, grimaces and winks, that they have chosen an inexperienced partner in the passage. And number four, which gender, so that means male or female, does the author believe deserts their partner uh, more often? So once again, it has even been heard for a girl and occasionally a man. So obviously they're both doing it, but you kind of get the impression that it is more often um, a girl. And it happens, but more rarely to men. So uh, which gender does the author believe deserts their partner more often? It is B, women. Now notice that it says a girl, a girl you might dispute whether there's a woman or not. Get over it. Um, it's uh, the way it is. One would like to think that 
an older woman might be a bit more um, ladylike and know not to do that. I don't know. It's just about, as with all manners, it's about being kind and considerate, isn't it? And if you've got yourself a real duffer, graciously go through and everybody will think, wasn't that nice? They had a rubbish partner, but they treated them um, with such courtesy and allowed their partner, who was a bit rubbish, to leave with dignity. If you treat them rudely, who's going to, everyone, they'll say, well, they're rubbish partner, but they were really rude. That's not nice, is it? See what I mean? The dancing doesn't matter, your manners does. So, evidence base everything when it comes to comprehension. You should be able to point to say, that's where I found the answer. It's not a memory test and it's not a test of, of general knowledge. Bye-bye.